In this video, what we're going to look at is how quadratic inequalities can be incorporated into a circle's question. What we're looking at is the intersection between a straight line and a circle. And what we want to do is find the values of k for which this straight line does not intersect the circle x minus 2 or squared plus y squared equals 18. So what we're going to have to do first, because we're looking at intersections, is substitute this equation into this equation for the circle. So we have x minus 2 all squared plus y, which is 2k minus x, squared is equal to 18. We then want to multiply out the brackets. So we get x squared minus 4x plus 4. That's the uh, terms from the first bracket. Plus 4k squared minus 4kx plus x squared. That's from the second pair of brackets is equal to 18. Then we want to rearrange everything so we get everything on the left hand side and group like terms together. So we've got x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. We've got minus 4x and we've got a minus 4kx. So I'm going to factorise that to be minus 4 lots of 1 minus or 1 plus kx. And because that will give me the minus 4x and the minus 4kx. And I've also got this 4. 4k squared and 18. So I'm going to leave the 4k squared, and then I've got 4 take away 18 is minus 14, is equal to 0. Right, I'm going to tidy this up by dividing all the way through by 2. So I arrive at this. Now, because I'm looking at a straight line and a circle, whether they intersect or not, I'm relating it back to a previous video where we introduced now the discriminant. And the discriminant, if there is no intersection, must be less than zero. Because we don't want any solutions. So A is 1. B is minus 2 lots of 1 plus k, so I could write that down just as minus 2 lots of 1 plus k, because that's the coefficient of x, and the value of c is 2k squared minus 7. So I plug these values in, so I get b squared, so that's minus 2 lots of 1 plus k squared, take away 4 lots of a times c, must be less than zero. So we've got minus two squared is four, so we get four k squared plus, um, try to do both of these in my head, uh, so we've got four lots of two k, so eight k, and we've also got the one, so four lots of one is four, then we've got minus 4 times 2k squared is minus 8k squared. And minus 4 lots of minus 7 is plus 28. So that's got to be less than 0. So we have 4k squared take away 8k squared is minus 4k squared. 8k. And then plus 4 plus 28 is plus 32. Is less than 0. Then I'm going to divide through by 4, or divide through by minus 4 would probably be a better idea. Um, so divide through by minus 4 is k squared minus 2k minus um, 8. And because I'm dividing through by minus 4, the symbol must change to a greater than 0. So I've now got a quadratic on the left is greater than 0. This can be factorised where we get k minus 4 
and k plus 2 is greater than 0. So, if I'd factorise that, and I've now got the k-axis, this is a quadratic that crosses through at minus 2 and plus 4. And where is the parabola, the quadratic, above the k-axis? Well, it's above it here and here. So this section symbolised by k is less than minus 2, and that section is k is greater than 4. And these are the values that we have been asked to find that tell us... So if k takes on any value that is less than minus 2 or greater than 4, then this line does not intersect this circle. Okay? And that is the process that we run through. It's quite algebra heavy. We started off by substituting this line into the circle. We multiplied everything out, simplified the equation down, allowing us to then use the discriminant, which we know has to be less than zero because there's no intersection. Substitute our bits in, simplify that down again to a simpler quadratic, which we can then factorise and sketch and then identify the sections that we need in order to solve the problem.